Hi, welcome back to my channel, Sister of Purpose, where I give you uplifting, motivational messages, and I let you know what's going on. So what's up? How y'all doing tonight? I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick check-in for my Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius, I don't believe I've done a sign, a particular specific sign in a while, but I thought of it earlier today and it was really heavy on my heart. So I said, let me go ahead, check in with Sagittarius, see what it is that my Sagittarius energy needs to know. Any Sagittarius placement, you don't have to be just sun, moon, rising. It could be any Sagittarius placement. Like I know for me, I have Sagittarius in my Neptune and um, Uranus. Sorry about that, guys. My phone just really went left. But anyways, um, let's get it popping, Sagittarius. Let's see what's um, going on for my Sagittarius. Sagittarius energy. What? is going on with Sagittarius energy. Show me what's going on with Sagittarius. And please apply this message to any particular um, placement that you have in Sagittarius. Like say for instance, if you have Sagittarius in your sixth house, your second house, your first house, look into your housings and see how this message can apply to you specifically, okay? So right off the bat, we have the Knight of Cups. I really don't like this card. I think I heard enough reader, reader say that, but I, I don't like this card either, but it is what it is. We have Knight of Cups. There could be a particular romance in the works. We have Three of Wands. Yep. Expansive progress. And then we have Isis, the spirit of justice and balance. My odds. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and take these two as well. Yep. Mental clarity. Like, can't get no better than that, right? All right. So maybe you're having a romance with your mental um shit. To be honest with you, you could be having a romance with yourself. The Three of Wands is Aries. This is Sagittarius. Aries and Aries is fire sign car as well. So is Sagittarius. Aries, however, is from Mars. And Sagittarius is from Jupiter. Expansive progress, duh. Okay, so you have expansive progress in your actions of having mental clarity. Ooh, yeah, Ace of Cups here too. And King of Wands. All right, fire signs come through. What's the King of Wands? That could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So um, I feel like there could be a masculine energy that is going within self expanding their spiritual knowledge gaining mental clarity so that they can start afresh and have new love a new passion the beginning behind ooh, behind someone that you see that may you could have been in a toxic energy my sagittarius is energy you could have been extremely toxic with a chariot in particularly a cancer sign or a water sign in particular water a cancer scorpio pisces you are calling judgment about this. You know that the Most High has told you, like, put it into it. I have the Most High out here as well as the world. The Most High is calling judgment on you to put an ending to some type of devil attachment to a cancer sign in particular for all of my masculine uh, fire sign energy. Yeah. No, ma'am. Go get in that bed now. You can do it tomorrow, okay? Yeah, someone still wants to play, though. I feel like someone wants to play. My daughter just came and whispered to me that she wants to play with something. I feel like that someone doesn't want you to give up this devil toxic energy. I feel like someone wants you to continue to play with them. They want to continue to be... They want you to continue to be in this Knight of Cups energy. However, I feel like the goddess Isis is blocking that for you. Um, if you don't know who Isis is, you should go ahead and do some research into Isis. I feel that, like I said, you're going within your soul searching because your spiritual team is here. They've awakened you with guidance and they're letting you know, like, you cannot continue to go down the path that you're going down. Exactly. We have 555 five, five here. 555 five, five talks about change. Change for the highest good. We have 39 and 29. That's what's up. Damn, we got five, five, five. We got 55 on this card, 41. One plus four is five. And then we have 23. Two plus three is five. So you have major endings, major changes. And because you now 
exude this mental clarity, you will be blessed with the opportunity for a new passionate beginning behind something that's more divine. Something that's not going to put you in the energy that is going to be um, on a lower level frequency for you. Because like I said, it's not good for you. It's not giving you what it's supposed It's not giving what it's supposed to give. That's exactly what I just heard. Damn. Look, as I picked it up, I seen the five of swords and five of pentacles. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. You're, you're going out. You're going broke. You're going sad. You're going out sad. You're going broke. Yeah, you're trying to get the Ten of Pentacles, but you're not getting that. You're just not realizing that. Something's got to shake. Something's got to give. You are going outside. Yep, death, transfer, transfer. <laughs> Transformation and a rebirth. Okay, that's a new word. I'm telling you, justice is here as well. So like I said, the spirit of Isis, the goddess Isis wants to come in. She wants to teamwork with you. She sees the energy that you've been in, the conflicting energy. She's been waiting for you to feel like you want to change. And now that you want to change, she is here to assist you in that change. That's dope. That's what's up. I'm sorry, feminine um, Sagittarius energies. I know this took a turn for my masculine energies. Um, but yes, let's, let's keep it moving and see what we can get. All right. Is there anything that my Sagittarius energy needs to know concerning my low down deck before we uh -oh, call it a day? Your mama a hater. Ooh, wee. So, for my masculine and feminine energies, somebody's mother is out here really hating. They're hating the fact that you're transforming. Maybe you have a, a karmic family or karmic. Yeah, karmic. I'm hearing karmic family bloodline that this is the way they've done things they move and operate in lower energy you are sick of it you don't want to be a part of it and your mama don't like that i feel like you may have communicated to your mom that you want mental clarity and that you want new love maybe she was um rooting for you and whoever that karmic water sign was but um she's no longer oh oh okay i was gonna say she's no longer interested but I feel that you're no longer interested. But I feel that you were telling your mom she's no longer interesting. She's no longer interest interest. You're no longer interested in her. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Through all the trickery, trickery, you are protected. Okay, so okay, it's it's former now. You were no longer interested in this person because this person tricked you. They play some form of um, games. Didn't I say someone? I did say that. I said that earlier. I said someone still wants to play games. Someone still wants to come out and play. Like, even though it's now, now the time to end games, someone still wants to play. I feel like there was a toxic masculine or feminine water sign energy that came in and, and came in through a form of trickery. Yeah, they could have played games on your mind, on your heart space. For my um, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is really supposed to be a Sagittarius reading. But I feel like Aries is very prominent in this reading as well. Can I get some information? Show me what's going on with this trickery. What was the trickery? Show me what was going on with the trickery, please. The Sagittarius. That's a lot. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Three of Wands again. It's an, are you Okay. Yeah, okay, Nine of Wands, Impulsive Energy, the Emperor. So, yeah, your mother sees that you are impulsively trying to better yourself. You're trying to move out of the King of Wands and become the Emperor. And now she's trying to make some type of plans. I feel like she has something to do with this trickery. Your own mama, damn. Sometimes you gotta watch out for people, right? Right. Okay, give me more about this trickery. What is this lady playing in? Or, or feminine energy, masculine energy, what are they playing in? It's the Queen of Wands in particular. Yep, Sagittarius is right here. All right, let me see. What, what's after this Sagittarius card? I just want to know what they're planning. Mm. They're planning um, to put you in indecisive energy. They're planning to have you juggling. But you're going to find this out. Yeah, and the justice, like I said, my ox is here to, to aid you, guide you, and assist you away from this bullshit. This karmic family bloodline. Let's get some more Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands for the trickery. That fell right out on New Beginning. Okay, so I'm feeling like this 
king of wands this okay sagittarius you want a new beginning in a divine connection this is why you're trying to show up as the emperor because you know that you're not going to be able to show up as anything less than yeah you're over here trying to master your skills behind getting someone that's equally yoked to you you know that this cancer this water sign this karmic water sign is not equally yoked to you but i just don't understand why your mom would want the best for you let's let's ask this question why does this person's mom sagittarius mom don't want to see them move forward and succeed with someone that's good for them why don't this say um, nine of pentacles on the top of the deck okay she's spying so that's what she's planning she's planning to spy oh love our seven of cups two of cups temperance that's the nine of cups I feel like your mom has a codependency issue and she knows that you have a codependency issue. She feels that you no, will no longer be codependent on her or the karmic family any longer if you continue to go towards this two of cups, this divine connection, this divine um, energy. She, If you go towards this divine energy, she can no longer lean on you the way she's been leaning on you. But if she presents you with this option of illusion, which was that karmic water sign, if she continues... To promote that, then she still has a footing in your life. This mama must be, um, damn, this mama karmic as hell. Yeah, oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. She wants to be the only one with the crown. That's what I just heard. See, as soon as I, I could put it back. It don't matter. As soon as I put the cards down, I seen a woman and I seen this. It's like the pathway has been divided to the divinity of the crown of divinity, right? She wants to be the only one with the cup. She wants to be your only true cup of love. She don't want you to have anything divine. She wants to feel like she's the only one divine in your life. That's that's a little weird, Sagittarius. For my Sagittarius masculine energies, that's a little weird. I'm going to go ahead and make this like a Sagittarius reading for my masculine energies. Yeah, most definitely. Because this is definitely taking a turn. Somewhere I didn't expect it. The King of Wands is here again. See, okay, let's back it up though. She wants to be your Ace of Cups. In a mom way though. Like she wants to be praised. She wants to be exalted. But she knows if you go toward if you go is if you leave the, the seven of cups alone and you actually end up finding your two of cups. She feels like there won't be any room for her. So I feel like this is just a mom who has attachment issues, codependency issues. She may need some counseling. Maybe she's been through something traumatic in the past. Yeah, the tower right here. She went through something traumatic in the past. She's not, look, look, the crown. Her, she feels like she's being knocked off her uh, her pedestal. If you find these two of, pen two of pentacles. And then it's the pinnacle right here. Two of pinnacles and nine of pinnacles is three of pinnacles. Teamwork. So she feel like you'll teamwork with this person and you won't, you'll be resting on her and it'll break her heart, basically. She feels that you will not, no longer need her. You could live with this person. Yeah, she, ooh. So she feels like this person is going to be competition. She feels like, I feel like she already know who is your empress because we have the tower queen of swords for cups she feels that she will be kicked to the curb like i said she won't be on her pedestal anymore your, your new person is going to be someone who's not going to accept this lady being as codependent as you accept this lady to be see she gonna still try to come in and give this ace a cup of love but look at that you're not going to take it because you like, Mom, I already got two cups. What are, what are you doing? Three cups, we already celebrated with you. Why are you coming in with your fourth cup? I don't need it. So you're a big boy now. Sorry. I, I, I hope that didn't sound sarcastic. But you're someone that is growing out of the energy of feeling like you. Yeah. Yeah. See, she's trying to have you stuck in your emotions, stuck in your feelings. You know this. You've outgrown the situation. You could be a young man, your late 20s, early 20s, early 30s. Hell, you could be in your early 40s. Because we know how overbearing sometimes are mamas who don't have men. Does this mother have a relationship? Does this mother have a relationship? Nope. 
She competing for the damn divine union. She, this, she needs some counseling. She has the vision within her own heart about the divine union that you're getting ready to come into Sagittarius. For my Sagittarius, masculine energies that are on the path to divinity, that want to move forward in life. She wants to be in competition with you behind this divine union. She sees herself as the divine union. What type of shit is that? Mm-mm-mm. Damn, we got the Eight of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Nine of Pentacles. She want to put an end until you find this. That's weird. Let's move forward. Because I, I don't want to uncover something I don't need to uncover. You know, we're going to leave the mamas alone. Some of the mamas, you know, they, you just need to put them in their place and let them know what's up. I feel like you kind of know what's going on. You kind of sad about it. Remember how I told you that you were sad? Like, mom, what the hell? Why are you coming in trying to give me another cup? I'm not trying to be a part of that. Like, you a grown-ass man. Like, you gotta have grab your cojones. <laughs> you gotta put your foot down on your mom's, man. I'm sorry. An overbearing mother. She, it, that's what I just heard. She's an overbearing mother. She is... It, Look, she feels like you're going to end things with her. And she feels like it's going to be a betrayal. Yeah, look at her. She like, oh no, you finna become an emotionally stable man. See, she has an inkling about this. And once you become this King of Cups energy, once you graduate from the King of Wands to the King of Cups, you're on your way to being an emperor. Because that means you're embodying more than one king. And she's like, I'm not having it. You better keep your mama far away from whoever this love interest that you have um, a liking for. Because she's going to try to bring strife and conflict into y'all's relationship. Yeah, mental, I'm not making this shit up. This should say Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is mental clarity about everything I just spoke to you. She's going to try to come in between you and your relationship and you and your divine connection. Because she don't have one for herself. And she think that you and her have a divine connection. Yes, as a mother and son, that's it. Lady, where the fuck is your crazy pills? Take one. <laughs> take a, I just heard, take a chill pill. <laughs> yes, King of Souls. I mean, mental clarity came out again with the King of Wands. Yes, you, you see clearly what the fuck is going on. You're like, yes, take a chill pill. I, uh, there's a Sagittarius masculine out there saying, take a chill pill, mom. Chill, chill. Yeah. Look, she's working hard. I feel like she's doing some. I would hate to say she's doing spell work. I don't think it's actually spell work. But I think she's just trying to. Ooh, bubbles. I, and I think she's going to show up in the weirdest times. Yeah. Yeah, my hair, my daughter. She's gonna show up in the weirdest times to try to like connect. Yeah, I want to. to make. Yeah, she said, yeah, I want to. Yes, she to wants go to. Over there. Look at it. I told you she's gonna show up to your house at the weirdest times. I was no cap, bro. I swear. And I like there. You like there? Yeah, I like to go over there. Okay. All right. Baby, can you go blow your bubble somewhere else? Thank you, baby. Can you go back? She's going to try to speak something over your relationship. Like, I don't think she's actually doing spell work, but she may be speaking something over you that's going to try to keep you from releasing baggage behind whatever she thinks that y'all had a communication about. Like, she may think that you all have a telepathic communication, but that's between mother and son. That's not, that's, that's not romantic. Like, you gotta, yeah, she needs a chill pill. Let's get some affirmations. Please don't, please don't blow your bubbles over here, okay, baby? Yeah, blow. Because they're gonna what, get the cards wet, okay? Can you blow them over there for me? Not that over here. No. The or you can go put them away and go get in bed. Thank you. Blow over here. Mm. All right, let's get some affirmations for her. I'm sorry, my Sagittarius, um, feminine energy. The masculine, he probably there's some there's a few masculines out here that probably need to hear this shit because hey, oh your mama, I can't make it up. She a karmic. She's a karmic. I'm sorry. I hate to know, you know, I hate to be the one to tell you, but you know, it is what it is. Everybody mama can't be divine feminine. And especially acting like this, competing for somebody divine union. Girl, if you wanna go find you a man, 
Look at her. She may, like I said, she won't go do spell work, but she may start doing spell work. Ooh, we. Anyways, let's get some affirmation cards on how to deal with this overbearing mother. Self care is important to me. So remember to put yourself first, masculine energies. Put, put yourself first. If she tries to like impede on your personal time, set strict ass boundaries with her. Stay busy and keep it moving. Especially if you live with her or uh, live near her, or she is someone who just pops up to your damn house. You know, maybe because you didn't have a relationship in the past. Yeah, my past doesn't affect my present. So maybe you shared a lot of things that happened to you in your past. Please, please go. Bye-bye. Here, take this in the room. Mwah. High five. Thank you. No, ma'am. Go go in the room. Thank you. It, it's bedtime. Um, I apologize about that, but maybe you had shared some things that happened to you in your past, and so she took it upon herself to help heal you through the traumatic experiences, which she's supposed to do. She's a mom. But that doesn't guarantee her the right to be thinking she got the number one spot. That's that. I don't, the only reason why I'm saying this shit, y'all, because this is what I'm hearing. I'm moving forward. Please know that you're moving forward. Okay? This is a lot. I'm going to say them, but I'm going to put them back because this is just too much. I am whole and respected. Hidden motives are now made public. I release the lies. So, yes. So, now you know. If your mama try to come and lie to you and be like, oh, I don't think she's right for you. No, no, no. She don't think you right for her or she don't think she's right for you because, hell, she thinks she right for you. Okay? So, now you know. When she try to come in with that sneaky shit, you know what's up. I allowed the universe to help me. So, yes. Give your mother back to the universe. I'm sorry. Like, just let her know. Like, you know. Like, I appreciate all your help for being there for me when no one was there for me. But, you know, it's time that I move forward in life and I, I'm looking forward to it. You know, just kindly let her let her down. Get some rest and recover. All right. So recover from this because she's probably like really on your ass, Mr. Postman. My first home is my body and I honor and respect my first home. All right. So remember to respect your body. Remember to have your self-care affirmations and, and indulge in self-care masculine energies. Like you can really take some time out for yourself, cut your fingernails, cut your toenails, or you can get a, go get a mani-pedi, you know, and you get your hair cut, get yourself a facial or go get a facial, do a light workout, some light stretching, talk to yourself in the mirror, make sure you smile at yourself, you know, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Keep it sexy for yourself, daddy. And then we have January freedom. So you may, maybe you all live together and the lease will be up in January. I'm really strongly hearing that for a few of my masculine energies, or you may just like feel like you're extremely more free in january because you know the holidays would have passed so you don't have to really deal with this overbearing energy as much my hands are magical manifestors yes you do remember that your hands are magical <laughs> I'm thinking nasty. Let me stop. I receive and emit love in all areas. So remember this, guys. And you know, it's okay to love your mom. But you gotta tell her she's gonna have to take a back seat. Aight? And until next time, I'll catch you in my next video.